Okay, um, thank you for coming. Uh, today, major crime with the assistance of Star Group and SES uh, conducting a major search operation which will occur over the coming days. The search is to locate the remains of Michael Hurst, um, who was age 32 when we alleged he was murdered in 2019 at Kilburn. Uh, police are determined and committed to locate the remains of Michael and will be in this area said, for several days um, with the intent of locating his remains to hopefully return them to his family. We're here today because we've received new information and we believe uh, that Michael has been buried in a shallow grave along a road verge between the verge of the road and a fence line. We believe he's actually been buried on a summer road or a dry track um, that might not be accessible during uh, winter and that he was buried in the early hours of the 7th or the 8th of February 2019. We believe he was buried in an area between Balaclava and Malala and that area is on the eastern side of Traeger Road. The search over the coming days will involve 25 staff from Major Crime, Star and SES. We'll be searching 28 kilometres of road by foot and then there are multiple other locations that will be searched during that multiple other locations will be searched during that time. The 28 kilometres by foot we've identified 10 specific roads that we're looking at uh, within the boundaries of that Balaclava and Malalar area. We'll also be searching uh, further a number of verges. As I said, the information we've received is quite specific and those verges will be searched um, using all-terrain vehicles to identify any other uh, search locations that we can identify. Although the information is specific, we're now confident that we're in the correct area to locate Michael's remains. There are difficulties though, given the nature of the train that we're going to be searching. Uh, it's now four years past uh, since Michael was buried at this location. We've had changes in vegetation, there have been environmental changes, there have been road works, <coughs> and um, obviously the size of the area to be searched is considerable, so that poses its own challenges for ourselves, STAR and SES. We believe Michael's remains were driven to this area, and if they were driven in a uh, green 2000 Daiwa Lanos in the early hours of the morning on the 7th or the 8th of February 2019. What we're seeking is we're seeking public assistance from any property owners or other people that may have seen the Daiwa Lanos uh, in the areas that I'll describe shortly. Anyone that saw suspicious activity in the areas of Balaclava or Malala four years ago. Anyone that may have identified or seen clothing along the roadway or the verge or anyone that's actually identified unusually disturbed um, soil on the side of the road. The areas that are of particular interest to us are Balaclava to the north, bounded by Balaclava Road, Malala to the south, to the east of Traeger Road and through the areas of Salter Springs, Alma and Hamley Bridge. I ask anyone that may have seen anyone act suspiciously or seen the Daiwa Lanos in that uh, Daewoo Lanos in that area to contact Crime Stops on 1800 333 000. I'll now take any questions. This is a major breakthrough. Yeah, we've, we're very confident that we're near in the right area. We've conducted quite a number of searches previously throughout the area. Some have been um, publicised, some haven't. Um, the information we now have is, is quite specific, but unfortunately it's not specific enough to put us to a direct location. Um, as I said, we'll do 28 kilometres of road by foot. Um, we'll have all-terrain vehicles covering other areas. And we also have 22 other locations that we've identified that meet um, the information we've provided to search as well. Are you expecting to find anything else like that? No, um, and, and that's where, as I said, we're hoping to find Michael's remains, but there may be discarded clothing or similar on a roadway that a farmer or a property owner previously didn't consider relevant to this investigation and we'd really like those people to come forward to assist us and it may actually narrow down the search area for us. What sort of resources will we be using in terms of a ground penetrating radar or anything like that? Um, so there's multiple resources. We've had uh, quite a lot of work done in relation to preparation for these searches. Um, we're using all ter terrain vehicles. There'll be uh, people with metal detectors, um, we have uh, specific metal detectors for what we're looking for, 
um, in relation to possible items of clothing or other materials that may be with Michael. Um, and obviously we've uh, drawn some of this area previously as well to identify appropriate locations. And specifically you've mentioned a rug before, is that something you're looking for? Yeah, no, um, we're not looking for the rug, no longer. People involved in this, are they the ones providing this new information? Yeah, um, I can't specify where the information has come from. All I can say is that um, we have received the information on this occasion. We believe it is credible and that that's why we've actually been willing to commit the resourcing uh, to conduct the searches over the coming days. Because we may be here uh, for four days, so we wouldn't undertake that, that, we wouldn't undertake that effort if we didn't think the information was credible. Are you prepared to stay for longer if the search requires it? Yeah, listen, um, as said, the South Australian Police are extremely committed and determined to locate Michael's remains and return him to his family. Um, we believe that we will actually get through the search areas we've identified in those days, but should it take longer, we will reassess and we will come back and conduct the search. What would it mean for his, uh, his family to have his remains? I, I can't speak on behalf of families, but I know if it was one of my loved ones, um, it'd be it'd be just horrific not knowing where your loved one was. So I think to have the remains returned to the family never gives closure, but I think it will actually give them some answers and somewhere to go and you know pay their respects. Given the body is likely, as you said, on the verge of a road, how difficult is that given that's not obviously somewhere that people would, would pass on foot very often to be able to assist in those inquiries? Yeah, it, it can be, but we're aware that property owners in these sort of rural locations have very good awareness of their properties and what's around their properties. So it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for them to have seen some, I suppose, uh, dirt or part of the verge that's uh, been dug or similar, or they've seen an item of clothing that they hadn't seen there previously. So that, that's why we urge those people to contact us if they've seen that. Last ones, everybody. Have police already reached out to any property owners? Um, we've spoken to a number of property owners through this this area and through the Adelaide Plains, um, and we'll continue to do so, as said, to locate Michael's remains and return to his family. Great. Thank you very much. All good. Well, thanks, everybody. Yep.